Hello and welcome to another Scardcast Battle Report. Today we have 1500 points of Sky Hammer Space Marines versus 1500 points of competitive Dark Eldar. Let's get this bloodbath started. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another report. Today we have 1500 points of Skyhammer and Nation Space Marines versus 1500 points of Dark Elder. We're playing Maelstrom of War Mission number four, where the objectives are placed down. One, another one there, another one on this high ground, another one here, another one there, and another one down here. Um, we have the Dark Eldar have uh, deployed second. They decided to let the um, Space Marines um, deploy first and choose to go first or second. He does want to go first. He's brought down his Skyhammer Annihilation Force on second turn. We have a unit of scouts with sniper rifles, a unit of scouts with bolters, a heavy bolter in a heavy flamer storm, three scout bikers with a locator beacon. Uh, and then in reserve, we have two Devastator Squads, one eight man with a Librarian and an Inquisitor with Divination, um, one ten man with uh, four multi Meltars. We, they're using the Sentinels of Terra supplement. We have two ten man assault squads with a uh, Sergeant with a Combat Shield and a Power Axe. And a Drop Pod Dreadnought in a Lucius Phantom Drop Pod with two heavy flamers, pretty much. So lots of uh, damage, uh, drop pod stuff. So I've deployed my warp spiders with an exarch of power blades, four units of cavalite warriors with blasters and venoms, my grotesques with an aberration who's my warlord, and the Autark with the Shard of Anaris and the Banshee Mask. Um, the Warlord got 12 inch bubble of Fearless. The Lamian. In reserve, we have two Warwalkers outflanking, the Razorwing Jet Fighter, and two Ravagers with triple lances coming in later in the game. So, if you want to check out the links below, there's a lot of bunch of stuff down there Tacticas, um, the Patreon page, the blog, all that stuff. The Dark Eldar, it is not Night Fight Turn 1. They want to try and seize the initiative to make this harder on the Space Marines. Trevor is my opponent. The Black Knight games have a great game, so. You too. And do the Dark Eldar seize the initiative. They do not with a failed six. Let's move on. And we had secure objective four come from high command, so the scouts boosted up to secure objective secure it. The drop pod with the Lucius Pandrep pod drag came down, flamed all the guys out of that venom and wrecked it, flamed all the guys of that venom, and nothing happened to the venom itself. But they had also ordered him to capture objective six, and he was unable to do so thanks to the raider. And a lightning strike was ordered. He needed to kill something in my deployment zone, and he did. So we're moving on to Dark Eldar, turn one. And we have objectives. We have secure objective number four. We have secure objective number one. And we have secure objective number three. We're moving on to the next turn. We had to do something about the Space Marines. We rolled up um, secure objective four, we rolled up secure objective three, and secure objective one. In this mission, you can steal your opponent's objectives. So, boosted up the jet bikes in a suicidal move to secure objective three, that is nothing of note. The rest of the army gathered round to shoot at these scouts uh, to take objective four, and that was successful. All the scouts are dead. The grotesques had come out to charge, but I wasn't kneeling them, so they ran up. And this venom that is empty ended up taking objective six, stealing it away from the Space Marines. It is now Space Marine turn two, without the with the loss of the scout bikers from Venom Fire, the Sky Hammer Annihilation Force will be arriving this turn to wreak havoc on the Dark Eldar and Eldar forces. What will happen? This is going to get nasty. And I still have Secure Objective 1. That's all the way back here. The Sky Hammer Annihilation Force made its fury felt. Uh, this Dreadnought on this side killed that Venom to capture Objective 6, even though it wasn't a point. Supremacy was one of the orders given by High Command. Secure Objective 1, he stole from me, 
by dropping a unit of assault marines, so he has taken secure objective one. He also had secure objective two and scout disguise. He's keeping scout disguise with my fly to come on, and he was unable to secure objective two with the assault marines. In shooting, the warlord aberration and the autark died from a lot of shooting and close combat from the assault marines that are now in this forest here, while all the Cabalite warriors were fearless thanks to my Warlord. I tried to re-roll that Warlord trait, so they weren't able to go to ground against the Bolter Marines, and they got slaughtered by the Bolter Drill of the Sentinels of Terra. On this corner, we had these Assault Marines come in and charge into the Eldar Jet Bikes to destroy them as well. So we're moving on to Dark Eldar turn 2 and we have a couple of reserves trying to come on. We have two three lance ravagers. One arrives and we have the Warwalkers. They arrive and we have the Razorwing Jet Hunter that arrives. Let's continue on to turn 2. One ravager arrives with the Razorwing and the Warwalkers. The raised wing arrived up here and blasted three of the unit models out of that assault marine unit. Two war walkers came on, finished off the unit as well, helping me secure objective one. In other movement and shooting, focused fire on these four assault marines and they went down while a ravager and a blaster were able to take one hull point off that dreadnought. Meanwhile, this though. Uh, these guys have sacrificed themselves to steal objective number two from the Space Marine forces. And we're moving on to turn three. What a bloodbath. Because Supremacy was three points, we're sitting at six, seven points with Warlord, eight points with First Blood, two, three, four, five points to the Dark Eldar. And I will be taking Witch Hunter away and I'll be discarding it. Other than that, we have one Ravager left to come on, but the Space Marines are fully committed to the table. We had the Assault Marines go towards the Walkers. The Scouts put a penetrating hit on this Venom and stopped it from shooting. And then a lot of shooting saw two hull points on the Raze Wing as he's trying to scour the skies. And the bolt pistols from these assault marines triggered the blink down to the warp spiders and now they are completely out of line of sight for charging purposes. While this dreadnought did not put any hull points on this venom and failed to charge as well. So it is going on to turn three for the Dark Eldar. Does the other Ravager arrive? It does indeed. And what objectives? I have hold the line. The reason he hasn't gotten rid of any of his cards is because there are no secure objective X cards, which means I cannot steal them from him. And my objectives this turn are secure objective five and secure objective two. Let's continue. The war walkers have moved back, fired, killed a couple of the assault marines, they passed their morale. I boosted up this venom onto objective two to capture it. The ravagers finished off this dreadnought to gain hold the line, while a lot of shooting and assault saw two of the Devastator Marines die in the Sergeant, and the Warp Spiders lose two wounds, one in combat, one from Overwatch, but they held and they are now safe from all the shooting. So we'll move on to turn four for the Space Marines. The Dark Eldar have achieved secure objective five, thanks to my Lamian. Secure objective two, thanks to my Venom. And hold the line. We're moving on to, oh, and the Razor Wing flew off the table. Turn four on this amazing looking table. Let's see what will happen as the Eldar Ruins see the force of battle. What a fun game this has been so far. What will happen as it gets tight towards the end of the game. The Space Marines charged in. The Inquisitor joined the assault squad with Presience. They charged in. The Exarch challenged out the Inquisitor, cut him down with his power blades, and the rest of the assault squad and Devastators destroyed the unit in close combat with Presience. Um, all three units here are moving up to try and score Linebreaker for later in the game. The Librarian perils and put a wound on himself. 
and no objectives were gained by the Space Marines this turn, while on this flank, the Assault Marines tried to charge in, losing another model to, sh to Overwatch, and only the Sergeant is left alive. So right now it is tied, eight points to eight points, going into turn four for the Dark Eldar. There's not very much left on either side. What are the three objectives that we have? Secure, objective two. The Venom died a horrible death, by the way, at the hands of the tank hunting devastators. We have behind enemy lines, which I will get thanks to my war walkers. And we have big game hunter, which is destroy a vehicle or monstrous creature. We have one drop pod that has one whole point left and a couple of the other drop pods as well. So, turn four. We had the war walkers finish off the last assault marine. I was unable to really send anything up to objective two, but he's gonna have to steal it from me if he wants it by, you know, putting a unit out of position. The Razor Wing arrived, and then the Ravagers, that Ravager, the Razor Wing, the Venom and the unit inside, that's all it took to kill the two multi Maltar Devastators, while this one Ravager killed and exploded the drop pod that was right there for Big Game Hunter. Which gives me Big Game Hunter and behind enemy lines, thanks to the War Walkers. And that will give me 10 points so far for the game. So we're moving on to turn five for the Space Marines. Could be the end of the game. Now the Scouts and the Devastators fire into the War Walkers. One is left alive with one hull point remaining. We also had these Marines move up and the Jetpacks come up and steal Objective 2 from the Dark Eldar forces. So we're moving on to Dark Eldar turn five. It's getting towards the end of the game. And I do have to get three more cards. Secure objective six, which is the one by the big drop pod. Harness the warp, which I cannot get. Secure objective six, again, for an extra point. And Kingslayer, which is D3 extra points for killing the enemy warlord, which is the librarian. Turn five begins. Razorwing showed up, did nothing there. We have a morale test for the that Marine there, and he's fine. Um, uh, my objectives was take objective six twice, so that Venom boosted up to its objective secure it, dropping off his troops over there. And then shooting from the War Walker, I was trying to snipe out the character for Kingslayer, but he only killed one Space Marine. So that is the end of turn five. We're looking at six, seven, eight, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points to the dark to the space marines to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen to the dark Eldar. Does the game continue? We will roll away. And the game is over with a dark Eldar. Nelda victory. Wow, what an intense game. Any comments for the end of the game, sir? Uh, say for I may have wanted to have a little bit of different placement for the drop pods and some bad rolls that hurt me early on. Things went not too bad. Yeah, the game itself is really intense. That Skyheim <laughs> Annihilation Force is really nasty with the big blobby units. My uh, man of the match once again, the warp spiders being able to yep. <laughs> just jump and avoid everything. And they they slaughtered a uh, devastator sergeant, uh, an entire. They helped kill an entire unit of assault marines. The exarch murdered the inquisitor in a challenge to prevent the space marines from gaining um, some chapter. points. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for the tactical corner where I talk about different tactical stuff this game at the end of the battle report. <coughs> This table was at Black Knight Games in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. So thanks a lot for tuning in. Check the links down below, right there, for some extra cool stuff. And other than that, thank you for the game, sir. Thank Been you. Been a pleasure. Good game. And uh, we will catch you next time on another Battle Report. This is Skari, your grateful host. Out. Hello and welcome to another Tactical Corner. 
So we begin this game as the first game that I've been playing against the Skyhammer Annihilation Force. We were going to play a Maelstrom mission, but I was really looking forward to pitting the Dark Eldar against an, an army as nasty and as hard-hitting as an alpha-striking list of drop pods. I deployed quite a few units and completely forgot about the dual heavy flamer Dreadnought drop pod that landed and killed a whole bunch of guys inside their venoms. So I would have spread out a little more had I remembered that he had the unit. But, um, you know, the first couple of turns was me killing off a few key units, picking off things that would cause me havoc later in the game, the fast-moving um, uh, land speeder Storm and the biker Scouts. The Dreadnought was also going to be a hassle, being inside the Dreadnought, uh, inside the drop pod, doesn't have to disembark until um, he wants to in his next turn, which is really useful as Lucius Pad and drop, drop pods are really cool. The Skyhammer Annihilation Force came down and did deal a hammer blow. Um, I feel that maybe there could have been a little bit better uh, use of the different assault squads and whatnot, but having multiple small units in, in my army allowed him to kill the things he was going to kill or get to where he wanted to go with his Skyhammer. But once he was committed with the different units in the Skyhammer Annihilation Force, that's where my reserves came into the forefront. And, uh, or, you know, with help, uh, they came in and they were the ones doing the most damage. The Raised Wing coming in, being able to focus on smaller five man units of assault marines that die just as quickly as um, any other marine in the game. Using uh, objectives secured to my advantage and also fantastic use of the warp spiders that um, you know my opponent completely forgot they could blink you know getting out of line of sight uh, killing the uh, inquisitor and just causing general havoc you know warp spiders have been fantastic and they really supplement the dark eldar way of war really nicely all in all a good showing for the dark kin make sure you look at the links down below for different tactical uh, videos as well as the patron page. Thanks for watching, Skari out.